Okay, by the definition, perpendicular lines are two lines that intersect and they form right angles. The symbol for perpendicular looks like an upside down capital T. My symbol for right angle, I put a box in there to show it's a right angle. So if I see that box, that tells me all four of these lines are perpendicular because I know these two are perpendicular and I know when two lines intersect, four of them are formed. So let's take a look at example three. I want to find x and y so that KO is perpendicular to HM. So KO and HM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my right angle where KO and HM intersect. Oh, so I've got four of those then, don't I? The important thing is on this first one where I got my y, so 3y plus 6, that's my 90 degree angle, isn't it? So I'm going to solve for y right away. So 3y plus 6 equals 90. So minus 6 from both sides. 3y equals 84. Not 1, 84. Then I'll divide both sides by 3. So 84 divided by 3 is 28. So I know y is 28. Now, what about x? Well, in x, I've got these two angles. So I've got my complementary angles right here, don't I? So I'm going to say, I'm going to take off that little right because it's kind of hard to see. There we go. That 9x, so I know, I know 9x and 3x plus 6, I know they add to 90. So I'm going to make an equation out of that. So I'm going to say, oh, 9x plus 3x plus 6. That makes 90 degrees. Now let's solve for x. Well, 9x plus 3x is 12x. Well, let's minus 6 from both sides to solve for x. So we get 12x equals 84. I'll divide both sides by 12. 84 divided by 12 is 7. And there's my answer. And on this one, I just wanted to find x. I don't have to go back and find angle measures or anything. x and y. So we're done.